Hi and welcome to our video guide on how to migrate your Access database to the cloud without coding. In part one I will give you a demo of the application so that you know exactly what we plan on developing. I do hope that you will try to create the same application in parallel with the videos and I will do my best to pace myself along the way. Let's take a look at the app. For today's use case, I chose an application that's not specific to any industry. Why? Well, because a bug tracking or ticket management system is one of those applications that's so versatile that any company of any size can greatly benefit from. And what you'll see in this video guide is that you can easily modify and manipulate the field elements of this application to make it your own and use it internally for your own purpose and needs. So let me very quickly demonstrate the application. I'm going to go ahead and log in as a sample user who's called John Doe. And as soon as I log in as John, I'll have the ability to see a form. And this form allows me to now open up a new bug and assign that bug either to myself or somebody else on the team. I can add my title, my description. I can also set the priority, how urgent this bug is. And down here at the bottom, I can assign, as I said, I can assign this either to myself or somebody else on the team. At this point, what I would like to do is uh, give you a quick comparison between the Caspio form versus the form that we have inside a uh, locally stored access database. So if I open up that same form, you can see that it's exactly identical. We have the ability to input a title, we can add our description, we can set the priority, and we can also assign this bug to somebody else on the team. The only difference here is that this form is stored locally in our access database versus the Caspio form that's been published online. And the nice thing about having forms and reports on the web is that people can log in using their credentials and upon logging in they'll have access to all this information. And this is one of the main reasons why many access users are looking to bring their data online so they can streamline many of their workflows and of course create efficiency along the way. In addition to being able to build forms, Caspio platform also gives you the ability to build many different types of reports. Let me show you a few that I put together for this application. The very first report allows me to uh, see all the bugs that are flagged as new, and we're also utilizing record level security so when each user logs in, they're able to see information pertaining to their ID. For example, if John logs in, he can see all the bugs that belong to him, Conversely, if Sarah logs in, she'll be able to see all the bugs that have been assigned to her unique ID. From here, each user can take action by selecting the bug, clicking on Edit, and using this very simple drop-down, we can change the status of each bug. The second report that I have is a very similar report. This one actually filters out all the bugs that are currently in progress. So this gives us a really nice workflow. We can keep track of the bugs, and we need to know what action we need to place next. I also put together a report that allows me to search data. This one actually has a search interface that allows users to be able to select based on different criteria. So for example, if I want to be able to pull all the bugs that have a status in progress, maybe even do a date range, I can click search and then it's going to show me all the bugs that are currently in progress. We also have the ability to add comments. This form allows me to select a bug, input my comment, and click Submit. We can also track comments using this report. So if I want to be able to pull all the comments for this bug, I can select it, click Search, and this is going to list all the comments pertaining to that bug. In Caspio, you can do one-to-one -one relationships, you can do one-to-many, and you can also do many-to-many. -many. It is a full database platform, and just like in Access, you can create table relationships, and we will see how to do all of that in the following videos. In addition to all this functionality, I put together two charts to show you how we can do metrics in Caspio. My first chart is a very simple pie chart that shows a distribution between all the bugs based on status. My second chart is going to show me a breakdown of all the bugs per month. It uses a nice line chart so that we can see a trend. So this is the application that I'm going to teach you how to build in this video guide. In the next video, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can import all of your access tables, the data inside the tables, and all the relationships to Caspio. Once your objects are imported, Caspio is going to maintain the application integrity. Also, what's very important to note here is that you're not going to be able to import your entire database. All the forms, all the reports, and all the queries, you're going to have to recreate that in Caspio using our point-and-click 
intuitive wizards. However, all the tables, the relationships, and the data you're going to be able to import into Caspio. And once those objects are imported, then you can very quickly and very easily recreate those forms. So I hope to see you in the next video where I show you how to do that. In part three, we're going to learn how to build a login interface. In part four, I'm going to show you how to build the forms and reports. And in the final part of this video series, I'm going to show you how to deploy the application to a website. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next lecture.